Hi, I'm Grant Mukai from Wellesley Media. I'm here with Kaylee Wong. Kylie. Kylie Wong, who is from, who is a student intern here at the Regeneration Farm, uh, which you guys saw earlier when they were constructing the pergola. So now we're back a couple months later when there's some stuff growing. So um, Kylie's going to tell us a little bit about what projects are going on. So what's happening here now? Okay, so over the summer, the Botanic Gardens at Wellesley College, um, they hire student interns. We have seven student interns this summer. And basically our job is to help run and farm the student farm here on Regeneration Plot. We help with some interning at the Botanic Gardens itself, learning some gardening skills and I guess, yeah, that kind of stuff. And then we have independent projects. Okay. Now, the food that's grown here, you, have a, you also have a farmer's market at Wellesley College that you sell this stuff yeah. at? So basically, all the planting happens in the summer and then in the fall we have a student farm stand where we sell our produce to students and faculty on campus. Okay. Sounds good. Well, let's go have a let's go have a look at what's growing here. So we start at the front of the garden, and along our fence here, we have raspberries growing. As you can see, they're so green, but once they're bright pink, we can start picking them. And then in these pots are some tomatoes. Uh, so we're an organic garden, so we don't use pesticides or herbicides. So basically, we have a rabbit fence that's supposed to be dug three feet down, and it's supposed to keep rodents out but apparently we think that we had beginner's luck for the first four years because we had no trouble at all with rodents or pests and it's this year that it first started. But here in this first long bed, we have the three sisters. I don't know if you guys know what the three sisters is, but it's when you do companion planting with corn in the middle and then you have pole beans here that are gonna slowly grow up and wrap around the corn. And then we have squash right there next to it, beside it that will provide ground cover. And by growing these plants together, they're supposed to help each other grow. Ooh, you're stepping on a cucumber. Sorry. And here we have watermelon. It's our first attempt at growing watermelon, so hopefully it'll thrive in the heat. What's happening here? So we're trying this new experiment, and apparently it comes from France. And in France, they have this farming theory where it's called a double, what? A double dig? A double dig, it's where you dig out all the soil from your bed and basically you're going to put it back into the bed. But it's a way to make the soil more airy, I guess, and less more fluffy. Well, I think what we're doing is kind of a bastardized version of the double dig. Like, we're not doing, like, exactly what yeah. is done. And also, like, it's basically just another method of tilling. Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah, go for it. We try to employ no-till properties, um, but we're just experimenting to see what difference it makes if we dig up the soil and then plant in it, whereas usually we just plant things without digging up the soil. The compost, so we bring all the student compost to the farm, to the plot, and then we basically just rotate it three times before it gets returned into the plot. Tea, plenty of tried if you want. You can sample one. So we have sage over there, another herb. It's really, really fragrant, really hearty. You could pinch it and smell it. So are the pepper plants, the pointier leaves, the thinner leaves, and in, the, in between you have basil, again. Basil and mint. Take a sprig. Yeah, it's chocolate mint, it smells real nice. Take, we have like lots of black eggplant. Like, so as you can see, the top leaves are larger. They're like, and then these are the more recent new growth. They're also fuzzy apparently. But if you look underneath, you can see the damage we had at first from beetles, flea beetles, which are a type of insect that really, really likes eggplant. And we were afraid that these eggplants were gonna die at some point, but they made it. So I think we'll have eggplant this year. This is a weed. So funny story behind this weed is why is it so large, right? And what is it doing in the middle of our plot? Well, apparently when it was younger, we mistaken it for an eggplant. So when we fertilized everything, we fertilized the weed. And now we just can't bear to let it go. So as long as it's not choking any of the plants or taking nutrients away, it's okay. Some of the baby peas that are coming, forming, and if you want. It's a proud white. I don't know if there's a more ripe one here. So we have bush beans, 
And we have been covering them because we had an infestation with bean beetles. Um, and then we have marigolds, which are supposed to help with pests. We're trying to start up a CSA share with faculty so that a CSA share, it's a, you no, know, we're not doing it, we're not trying. Oh, work share, oh, sorry. It's a work share. So what is that? So the work share would be geared toward faculty and other students at the college. And basically what we would have is we would get them out on the plot, work for a few hours in exchange for a share of our produce. Mm -hmm.